Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, I saw a post earlier on the uh, Facebook group, Auto Hockey Group. Someone had, I think they said several hundred files they wanted to uh, use Auto Hockey to convert all the text in it, convert it to Calibri, save them as new file names. And they were going to, I think it looked like, going to do, uh, you know, sending keystrokes, which is just really inefficient. So um, I wrote this little script in about 15 minutes. Um, to explain it here, so we we op we create a word object just because we only want to create it once, right? We don't want to keep creating it, starting it, and stopping it. We just waste time. Um, here, I set it to visible one, so it'll pop up. Actually, I think it pops up in the other screen, but we'll see. Um, and it's visible, but honestly, you know, once you get used to it running, I highly recommend you set this to zero because the speed is like it's like ten times faster um, easily if you're not watching it. Um, I have I'm using the file select files, so it's going to look. And I told it to look in the the directory where I am and select multiple files. Um, if you know all the files you want, or if you know they're all in a certain directory, just use the directory thing and get a list of all the files. Um, this is a fancy way to parse over them. And I first store the path because when you use this file select file, the very first instance has the path of it in uh in the the um the variable after the first one then the rest of them are the files and so i store the path here um and i throw a slash in it because i want to be able to have both um, and then i say continue so it breaks that loop and then we after that it, it, it'll skip this and it'll be these and uh this is just showing us where with the menu tray so that your little um, tool tip if you have hundreds of them right it's nice to be able to see where you are it'll um, show you where you are in it uh, so we open so I concatenate the file and path here right it opens the file um, selects so this will select the whole story which means select all text and then it's going to change it's going to say set the font to Calibri this is where you'd put in the font that you want uh, it has to be exactly and I think even caps might matter and then um, and then I'm creating concatenating a new file name and I'm just adding an underscore Calibri that way it should be unique uh, and then do a save as and then we close that document no no I'm not quitting because we're in a loop here once it's done, it'll get down to this quit and then throw us up a message box saying we're actually done. So let's uh, let's let's see how we do here. Um, I have a hotkey. It might include things. Really, what's here is uh, single instance force and to set batch lines to minus one. Plus my hotkeys because I just like having a hotkey. I can hit a button. Uh, let's see here. So uh, these are all they're all small files. Oh, and here here are my examples. Here are the copies, um, the Calibri versions. This is uh this, this, and this all. Let me open one here. This way we can actually, I'll bring it over here. It should reopen on this one. Um, you can see here it has book antique font. It's a font I happen to like. Um, Ian, all I did was I copied this thing and um, after I created it, then I just said copy, save, and I um, paste, and I created two other copies of it. Just so there's a couple of files here. So I'm gonna hit my hotkey. And it's now it took a second because it opened Word in the background and it says, okay, now which files do you want to open? Or here are my files. I'm going to say open and now it's going to loop, do its looping, and now it's done. And mess, uh, Word actually quit. We're done. We'll say, okay. Oh, come on. Okay. And we're going to look in this folder. Oh, wrong folder. Here we go. So here are the files I just created. They all in, under, in, in underscore Calibri. And uh, if we open it up, Notice the uh, the font is Calibri, so uh, that should uh, should be um, you know what you want. Let's now it's not going to be nearly as um, obvious because we only have three files here, right? But uh, let me change this to zero, and let me get rid of these Calibri ones just so we have a, a fair and exact similar comparison. Save this, relun it, and run. And notice we don't actually see where it opened this time, right? Last time we did, so we're going to select these. And uh, and we're done. Like, what was that? A second. Um, again, it it this visible just has it show. Now, if you happen to have this as zero, but your script gets caught, it'll stay hidden, and you want to make sure you use your taskbar to um to go into it and close it. If when you're done, it'll it, you could end up um using up some of your resources if you don't end up closing that thing. But uh, or just reboot. It doesn't matter, right? But a uh, very quick, easy way to to loop over, not sending keystrokes, not doing all this other stuff. Um, should be pretty stable. Again, you might have a different way you go get the file pass to what you want. I figured it's nice to be able to select them, but maybe you just want to point them or have it read all the paths in from a, another file, store them all there, pull them in and loop over them. Um, this is just, I'm, this is, I'm using a file loop to loop over them, parsing on the line break. Uh, so if we actually go here and say, let's do a message box on files, you'll see when, when I run this, 
Oh, I forgot to hit the hotkey. Um, we're going to select all these. Uh, this is what is returned from that. And so see how the first one is the folder directory, and the rest are the paths. And so that's why in this one you got to concatenate those together. So I'm going to I'm going to hit reload so we don't actually do this, but um hope that helps. Cheers.